Hi, it's Nick Astor. I'm here at the Wall Street Journal's Economics Conference in Santa Barbara, California. I'm joined with Raj Mamodia. Uh, now, Raj, you're the CEO of a company called Brilio. Tell us a little bit about what Brilio is, the, the basic background. So, Brilio uh, is focused on the digital transformation, um, the new know-how and technology uh, to help our customers innovate for growth, make sense of technology for their businesses, right? So um, let me sort of define uh, the know-how in technology, right? So uh, there is a significant amount of change that is taking place today um, in social mobile cloud, but more importantly, uh, you know, around uh, areas like artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. uh, like augmented reality, that are poised to redefine how business is done. So, uh, so today, uh, Brilio is, uh, is is helping customers in, in three different ways. Uh, so, one, uh, we use our understanding of technology, the new know-how of technology, uh, and how that technology helps our customers innovate for growth. So, uh, you know, be it apply new markets for them, you know, uh, be it apply, you know, for new consumers, you know, how do you sort of you know structure new demand. Uh, the second one is I think we're helping uh, uh, customers uh, uh, really understand the change in their customer's behavior and respond to those changes faster using technology. And third, uh, is, uh, which is very, very important, is to sort of help our customers run their traditional businesses you know, and, and their IT more efficiently. So that's what it's really all about. Okay, so this is a, a lot of very, very complicated stuff. You mentioned everything from uh, just the, the rapidly changing technology that's happening everywhere in every industry, uh, the changing consumer as well, and then of course some of the basics about how you run an efficient business. Um, can you give us just a couple more maybe specific examples of, of how this applies? And since we're here at economics, maybe how this might apply to issues like energy or something that has a, a sustainability payoff, if sure, you Sure, know. sure. So I think uh, you know, it's appropriate to sort of use a utilities example you know, uh, since we are at, uh, you know, at, at this conference. So if you look at uh, the utilities today, you know, with smart meters and smart grids, right? I mean, you, you look at the data, everything that you see is, uh, has become digital, right? So you're moved from analog to digital. Now you have millions of readings, you know, from your grids, from your uh, consumers. Uh, and now you also have, you know, significant amount of connectivity with what's happening in the weather, what's happening, you know, um, temperature with wind, right? And, and I think uh, for the very first time, there's an opportunity uh, for the utility companies to understand uh, their environment much more better, right? And, uh, and sort of to be able to predict uh, what is about to come, uh, instead of depending on the human analysis that actually sort of mostly looks at rear view mirror, uh, I think we can now predict that in real time. And uh, that capability uh, is, is significant in my view. I think is, is sort of uh, uh, going to drive uh, the change very, very rapidly. This is an example, you know, where we can help a utility company uh, look at their environment very differently. You know, we can look at, uh, you know, uh, sort of changes in their environment, you know, and help them make good decisions based on that. It all sounds so simple, but I know it's not. So, do you have any, any success stories yet, or, or how do you anticipate being able to measure the success of, of let's say, a utility? Is it about efficiency and cost savings? Uh, are you also looking to help them measure things like carbon footprints and so on? Um, and, and what are your expectations in terms of when you apply your technology to a utility, um, where they're going to see it pay off? Yes, yeah, so I think uh, some of this technology is, uh, is fast developing, right? So, well, do we have several examples you know of uh, of uh, you know demonstrated success uh, probably not right but uh, uh, but i think we are very busy proving that mm -hmm. you know at this point in time so demand side management right or uh, uh, or outage management right uh, i think these are the examples where we are already you know engaging with the customers uh, you know in uh, uh, in using the new technology and you know how in technology to sort of solve the problems very differently uh, right so uh, but as you go forward i think uh, uh, you can see that the analytics piece, the machine learning piece, uh, particularly, uh, and how do you sort of combine that with you know consumer behaviors, consumer uses, uh, I think is going to uh, have drastic impact on how utilities do their business you know, as you go forward. I think we learned today uh, in the conference that uh, 
more utilities are sort of becoming uh, in apart from generation they are think they're they're investing more in uh, in transmission and distribution right and that's where uh, the power of uh, digital you know convergence comes in, in my view right where uh, where you can look at the real time consumer demand where you can look at the real time environment you know and and your own capacity uh, because everything is digital now so that you know you can predict uh, you know uh, uh, your response to them you know very very rapidly right so so i think uh, uh, that's that's going to happen and that's changing uh, uh, very rapidly good to hear it raj thanks so much for joining me uh, thank you great yeah.